Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. Today we're on location in Texas testing out the Sequoia. I thought I would show you what one looks like in lower lighting. So it's raining. This will be perfect because we can see the exterior lights. It's pretty brilliant, but I'll tell you all about Capstone. Capstone, of course, is the premium luxury trim level for Sequoia. It has a lot of the creature comforts that come with a top of the food chain type price. Let's take a look. Standard 22 inch wheels, the largest for Tundra and for Sequoia. Now look at these LED lights, LED accent lights as well. Got those four pattern, whoop. <laughs> look at the accent light, how it goes all the way around. It's just so modern. The front end looks so tough. Look at the LED fog lights as well. Nice. Okay, we're good. Let's watch it back up here. That is really cool stuff. Nice. What do you think, everyone? So here we've got the sequential turn signals. It's got the LED premium lighting, remember? Oh, man. It's beautiful. And then you can see it has the turn signal. And then let's come back. Nice. As we get it back into position here. Now, I apologize for the rain. The vehicles are not dry. They're probably not in their most pristine state, but this is in its natural habitat, because you'll see sequoia in the rain, in the dark. You'll see it on the trails, in the water, on the beach. Now, what I want to point out, we're going to check out all of the ambient blue lighting all the way around. Yeah, it's down there, too. Let's start it up, though. Of course, when you start up the hybrid, it's going to be quiet. Five different national parks we get to see when we have the startup, a 12.3 inch information display. This is going to have heated and ventilated leather seats. I'll show you these, the semi aniline black and white. It also has American walnut trim all the way around. Let's see what this thing looks like lit up inside. All right, so let's go inside here and see what we see. When we close it, you can see that it's got the blue ambient lighting all the way along in here. Look at this beautiful black and white seating. The seats are so comfortable. Now this has the new car scent to it for sure. This is going to be the seven seater, the captain's chairs. You can see that. Then we've got the lighting all up above that goes around. When we're showing the lighting inside, we gotta show everything. It's got rear temperature controls. We've got heated and cooled rear seats. Very cool stuff. All right, so let's look from the back here. I don't have the wireless connection on right now for my phone. This has the 14-inch multimedia, Toyota audio multimedia, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Let's get a closer look at this black and white pattern here. The light stitching accents. So comfortable. That's so soft. I want to squeeze it like Charmin. This comes standard with the panoramic moonroof as well. It also has power steering wheel. Up, down, up, down. See, so we'll see ambient lighting down there in the well. Now, the MPG, I didn't do any of that, so it's probably just been tooled around here for a while. It's not going to exactly be accurate. 
So add a trailer, why not? We could do that. And then of course we've got our safety features here. Oh, this has the head up display. Now as they all do their thing, you can see the head up display right here. See the speed. Got the need, the need for speed. Capstone. Got our ambient lighting here. Along there. In the well. Let's open it up. See the light there. Got lighting here as well. We've got a power third row seat. Here's the power controls. You can just kind of make them go down like that. Let's finish it off and then let's bring this one down. What do you think of Capstone, everyone? You'll also see the power running board, standard, because it's a Capstone. I bet they shut. Oh. Chrome accents. iForce Max. Since we're talking low lighting, let's talk about this engine here. Produces 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque, iForce Max, 3.5 liter twin turbo engine with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It's fast, really fast. Let's use these controls to open up our panoramic roof. All right, so look at that. It opens up all the way, well, halfway, but all the way to the middle section. And then that's what we got going on up top. Something I do want to point out is the power seat. It has the knee support, the leg extender. What a great feature. Imagine how you can adjust it just a little bit, tweak it more, extend it out on long road trips. Look at me, I'm a turtle. Hi, hi, do you like my shell? Oh, I'm getting scared. And inside, the other thing I wanna point out on Capstone, this is where we have our two wheel, four wheel high, four wheel low. We've got different drive modes. Let's look at those. So if I turn the dial, eco, normal, and we've got sport. And inside here, we've got electronic parking brake, brake hold, wireless charging pad. Ooh, American walnut. What else do we got? We got a slider, we got a lifter, and we got a, watch me. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think of Capstone? The interior lighting, I love the ambient lighting. So yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Capstone. What do you think of Sequoia in general? Pretty excited about it. That means I'm excited in general about it. All right, thanks so much. Please follow my whole library of Sequoia material for 2023 Sequoia. You'll see a lot of videos I got coming out and also for Next Gen Tundra. I believe on my channel I've got over 40 videos on Tundra. So please follow along, hit subscribe. Thanks everybody so much. My two channels are Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks everybody. See ya.